I'll ride this horse around. And like I say, this, this piece of equipment is used mostly with a, a curb bit. And you can use your curb bit with two hands and direct rein and neck rein at the same time. Or you can use it one-handed and just work on neck rein. Now, where it really comes in handy when we're teaching a horse to collect up, and I'll kind of walk this horse around, and I'll get him to drop off the bit as I drive him forward with my legs. We want to get the horse in the habit of coming back to our hands whenever we, we put a little pressure in his mouth. Now, an alternative of that is what I call bumping the horse behind the bit or bumping the horse over the bit and we'll start it by just bump 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 and as soon as he starts to drop I give the release bump 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 he drops I give him the release I want to get him to where I can ride him with one hand and position his head wherever I want so let's say I'm riding him around His head's starting to go up, so I'll, I'll bump, bump, bump. His head goes down, I quit bumping. Bump, bump, bump. Head goes down, I quit bumping. And this way, with just one hand on the reins, I can neck rein him. If head goes up like it did right there. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Anytime they start to raise it out of position, and this horse really would like to raise it. He would like to walk around here with his head about this high. And of course he can't win anything with it. See his head raise it up right there. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. I'll keep bumping him. There. See, that time he kept it low. And I just, I'm always working on, on giving him the habit of, of having a level top line. Now, this horse isn't a reining horse. He's a cutting horse. And... You know, they really want to, and especially in the cutting pen, they really want to see a horse work with a low head. So I really had to do a lot of work on this horse, but it's paid off. I mean, he's won a couple of year-end championship saddles, uh, and a lot of that is due to the fact that I conditioned him to carry his head low versus have his head high. Now, I'm going to work a little bit more uh, on the uh, neck reining. Especially when you're teaching a horse how to neck rein, this is a really good tool because if I neck rein and the head goes, if this horse will do it, if I neck rein and the head goes out of position to the outside, I can come up and bump it to the inside. You always want a horse to look the direction he's going to turn so I can neck rein and bring his head in there right after I neck rein him for the turn. And see his head going down and to the inside at the same time? I can really do a lot teaching one to neck rein correctly by doing this. Lay the neck rein. Now his nose came in there real nice and his head stayed low. That's what I want. Head kind of came up a little bit. Bump, bump, bump. Good. And see, boy, he really dropped it right there. Now I'm going to neck rein him to the right and I want him to keep his head low and I want his nose to go in that direction. So I lay the neck rein, and his nose came in there, his head stayed low. Now right there, he brought his head to the outside. So I'm gonna bump, his, bump the inside rein up to bring his nose in there. Do it again. There. As soon as he brings it in, I release. Bump, 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 good. He brought it in there, and I release him. Bump, bump, bump. Now see, if, if I didn't have the head setter on him to help guide where his head was going to go. I mean, it could go way up and I can, I would still keep bumping if his head went way up. If I didn't have this head setter on him, I'd still keep bumping and I could eventually get his head down. But the thing is, uh, this horse has had his head high for so long that it would take a long time before he got his head down. I mean, it would be up there and I'd really be having to bump before he got it. 
So we could get it done without this piece of equipment. This piece of equipment just makes it real clear for the horse what we want.